Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome uh, if it's your first time, my name is Sylvia. And so I did this green look um, for St. Patrick's Day and I'm festive in the St. Patrick's Day mood. <laughs> so yeah, I've been wanting to do a green look, uh, so why not do it for St. Patrick's Day? Why not do it anytime, but you know, St. Patrick's Day, it, was, it worked out, it's coming up. Um, well, anyways, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this look. If you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. And I'll see you guys at the end of the video. All right, take care. See you in a minute. All right, guys, I'm ready to go. I put my hair back. So let's do um, that. Okay, so first I'm going to prime my eyes with the MAC Pot, the Painterly Paint Pot. Uh, and I use the same brush I use all the time to apply it, the B. Delium Tools 949. And then, you know, I apply it with that and then I just spread it out with my fingers. So I'll do that. This way my eyelids look all one color and the, the um, green comes, you can, you'll see, you'll be able to see the green better. Every, so everything looks even. This is just for us now. We know I ain't balling yet. Hoes wanna holler. Okay, then I'm gonna set it. I'm just using a Morphe palette. Um, I'm just gonna set it. I'm gonna just grab any light color. So this part doesn't even matter. <laughs> just grab some light color. And this is the Morphe uh, 557 brush. It like fits perfect. It's like big enough for my my eyes. Okay. Okay, so next I'm going to start with like a brown transition color, like a light. I'll use the same Morphe palette. This is the 35W. So I'll just grab Maybe this one, this one here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Make sure my, I make sure my brush is clean because last time I started applying makeup and it had like a purple and it was just a mess. So make sure you got a clean brush. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go with, I have this Shani Cosmetics. It's um, it's like a gel, but it's a little, it's a little dry. So I'm gonna go in with the, the Inglot Durling. Just put a drop in there. I have like a little Q-tip. I'm just gonna stir it around in there. Okay, then I have this synthetic um, concealer brush by face secrets i got this from like sally's so i'm just going to use this to apply this gel like on my eyelid and this doesn't have a it has a number it's color 12. i don't know if you guys are interested and i'm gonna use this bdellium tools uh 781 brush this is kind of dense so it'll help help with the gel. I'll use that to blend that out. Okay. I have this, um, it's an old palette. It's a crown, crown blush palette that I got from IMATS a long time ago. But it's the only like color palette that I have. So, I'm going to use these greens up here. Let's see. Probably go with, I'll try this one first. Give me this one and this one. Me rip it off. I'll admit it, you got me feeling hella 
up even when it's going down know that we gonna live it up young shot caller always been a baller know that you the one i can feel it in my heart yeah i won't stop charging you going come harder i can see you and i way beyond the stars girl i can never ever find the right words and there's no way okay so on the inner eyelid I decided to go with some lighter greens like this one and that one to give it some dimension so it doesn't look so flat Okay, I want just a little bit darker, so I might have to just add a little bit of black. And this is um, another Bedellium Tools 780, like a little pencil brush. Now I think I'm happy with this eye. So I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna go do this other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I finished the other eye. I know it's like ugly, like I'm in the ugly phase right now, but you know how it is. Put your eyeliner foundation, it comes together. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna do eyeliner. So I was thinking about doing two winged liners, um, like black and I have this green, chromatic <clears throat> pigment from NYX so I think I'm gonna do the pigment first kind of thick and then I'll do like black underneath all right let's do this um, this one is olive and this is what it looks like very pretty pretty oh and I made my own <clears throat> um, mixing medium I just do like one part glycerin, three parts water. I have it in this little shot glass, so I'll just dip my brush in there. Um, all right, let's do this. try going in with the liquid liner this is the NYC I guess I got discontinued or I heard maybe even NYC is going out of business I don't know what the deal is but it is as good as they all say it's it's a great liner super thick opaque Okay, so I think I'm done with my eyes. I think I'm done with my eyes. So let's get to the face. And guys, like, like I said, you're gonna go through this ugly phase, you know, when you're doing a smoky liner or colored eyeshadow. And don't stop, just keep going with it. Don't stop, it'll turn out good. <laughs> I'm not worried. I know you guys are probably like, oh my God, that looks so ugly. But First of all, maybe you don't like green. Maybe it's ugly. But, you know, I'm having fun. It's St. Patrick's Day and you gotta have fun with makeup. You should. You should. Okay, so first I'm gonna go with the LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. So, it says it's a HD smoothing face primer. Helps smooth and fill in fine lines and pores.
foundations I'm going to use are the my favorite um, drugstore foundations. Maybelline, the Fit Me Matte Poreless. I'm going to shake these up. I use a 220 Natural Beige and 238 Rich Tint. I mix these two together. Okay, so here it is on the back of my hand. I'm going to mix the two. And then um, I always use the same technique. I always apply it with my fingers first on, onto my pores, my cheeks, where I have large pores. And I rub it in. And then I'm going to use my, um, the, my favorite brush, the Tarte Bamboo. It's a foundation brush. It's pretty dense. So. This is just a must. Put me in perspective. Looks good to me. I'm just gonna wipe this stuff off. Okay, concealer. Ellie Girl Pro Concealer Yellow Corrector. Buy some of that. And I'm using the um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Okay, I'm gonna set that under eye with the air spun powder. Cody air So then I'll use a, the big powder brush. This is a crown brush. Um, Chisel Deluxe Powder. It says IB101. But that's that one. So I'll use that like, to wipe anything off. Okay, so for my bronzer, I'm gonna use this ELF Quad Blush Palette. These are the colors. So I'm gonna use the bronzer one here. This is a, like a flat brush. I know it looks all thrashed right now. But this one's um, Crown Brush IB103. This is a, a Morphe blush brush. There's no number on it. It's all black, but it's, this one's a like perfect size for your cheeks. Um, this one I'll probably use this color. This looks like it'll go nice with green. I can never ever find the right words, and there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. So I, can <laughs> I look probably crazy with my eyebrows not done yet, huh? Okay, so now for my brows. I'm gonna use this, um, it's Ardell Medium Brown Brow Pomade. Got that one from um, from Sally's. So it's a little dry. So I'm just gonna add some of the Inglot, Inglot Duraline in it, into it. A drop. So if you have anything dry, just, you could probably even add like some baby oil, I heard. So I add that. The Duraline. This is the little br this is the little brush that came with it. Shot caller, always been a baller. Know 
that you the one. I can feel it in my heart, yeah. I won't stop charging me, go and come harder. I can see you and I, way beyond the stars, girl. I can never ever find the right words, and there's no way. On my inner eye, I think I'm gonna go in, like, put a little bit of white. I have the NYX Milk uh, Jumbo Pencil. I think I'm gonna add a little white there. And then add some green. So let's see how that looks. I have this NYX um, Caribbean Collection, I Dream of St. Lucia. And then I'm gonna put this green. added some of this yellow like in the middle so it could be brighter okay it's now time for lashes well I'm gonna curl my lashes first I'm just going with the gut. Never had a doubt. so I'll just use this dual glue it's just the only one I could find right now put a little bit on the tip of my brush I also got these on Amazon, so I think I'm going to just try these ones. Let's see. Okay, so I have green, NYX Acid Green, and then I have this black uh, Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes. I'm going to put the green. If I don't like it, I'll just go over it with black. Okay, lips, 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 lips. What color lips should I do? Okay, so I'll do like a nude lip, like a nudish pink. It's the Katie Matte. Um, oh, Sphinx. <laughs> I'm showing you the other side, Sphinx. And then this is a Ulta a nude liner called Flesh. In the flesh. Perspective on the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now. We know I ain't bother yet. Holes wanna hollow. Oh no, I don't call them back. Maybe I need more color on my lips. Let me look for something else. I have this Kardashian chroma in it's like a coral color. It's like a coral shade. Even when it's going down, know that we go live it up. Young shot too plain, huh? Too plain. Something else. <laughs> okay, what about this color blur? I feel like I need like some either like like red tones, like plum, peach. Something with the red. Well, anyways, I have this one, um, magenta. Let's see <laughs> what this looks like. Is it too much color? I have a feeling that's, that's like too much color. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Okay, so I think I'll stick with like the pink tint underneath. This is a cover girl. It's another new champagne. Okay, I'm gonna stick with that. <laughs> I'll probably change it later. Alright guys, well this is the finished look. I hope you like it and um, I really appreciate you guys watching. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more makeup looks. Um, or just get to know me, you know, if you just want to see what I'm all about. And um, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys have a good day. Take care. Bye. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> bye bye guys. Hey guys, so as... I was filming this look. Oops. 
as I was filming this, look, I got a package and let me show you what it is. Hold on. Okay, so it's a ring light by me where I got it on Amazon. But it's defective. I'm gonna show you what it did. Okay, so I have it plugged in. Here's the on switch. Look at this. That's what it does. And this is on all the way, I guess, like to dim it or make it brighter. Look. Defective. That sucks. So I already printed up a packing slip to turn it, return it. <sighs> no time 